Hey y'all, Leo here. In this video, I wanted to show you how to install BPyTop on Ubuntu 20.04. BPyTop is the successor to BashTop. And whether or not you watched my last video on BashTop, this video is for you. So it seems the official way to install BPyTop is via pip3. Pip3 is a Python module that will allow you to install Python apps direct from the source. Aristocratos mentions that this is the most up-to-date way to get BPyTop. So let's start with this. Uh, I'll also show you how to install it via Snap and how to compile it yourself. But if you're going that far, you might as well just use pip3. So let's get started. First thing we need on an Ubuntu 20.04 machine is pip3. The way you get that, because it, it took me a little bit of digging to figure out exactly what the package name was, is sudo apt install python3 pip. Hit enter on that. It's going to pull in a few things. I've already had it installed on my system. I removed it just for the video. Uh, but there are quite a few dependencies that you'll need to get as well. Uh, those dependencies are basically there to help you compile the software for yourself. It may take a little bit longer than what I had there. But from here, it's quite simple to get it installed. However, we need to add an additional directory to our path. That's going to be where it gets a little messy. But I'll show you how to do that as well. So to install bpytop, you'll need to go down and notice that dependencies Python 3, we already have that. We already have pip to get it installed, but we also need the psutil module here. So to get that, we'll install that via pip as well. So pip3 install psutil. Hit enter on that. And once it says successfully installed, you can move on to installing bpytop, which is right here. So you can get away with just this bit right here, pip3 install bpytop. This additional option is anytime a new upgrade comes down. And it will notify you. When you launch bpytop, it'll say, hey, there's a new version. If that happens to you, I would say quit bpytop and then run this command really quickly and then run bpytop again. This will reach out and grab the newest versions of bpytop just for you. So let's install it. Pip3 install bpytop. On your first install, you don't need the upgrade, but every subsequent install, you'll need it uh, just so it'll grab the newest version. Now, before you get too far, what you're going to want to do is add a new directory to your path. Now, I've already got it on mine, but I'll show you how to get it onto yours. So what you want to check is echo path. And this is going to show you every single directory that the terminal will look in to run software. Now, software installed via pip3 is installed in your home folder dot local slash bin. This is not part of your path by default. If you do echo path, you'll notice mine's already there, but I had to add it manually. So to add it, you'll need to add one thing to your dot bash RC file. So to get there, this is your own file in your own home folder. So as long as you're in your home folder here, it's got a tilde, you're good. Otherwise, just type in the command cd and hit enter. Anywhere you are in the file system, it will drop you back into your home folder, and then we can continue on. So from here, nano.bashrc. Now, if you've never used nano before, nano is a very simple text editor. You just use arrow keys, page up, page down, end, and home to get yourself around. So I'm going to smack the page down key and just hold it. Take me all the way down to the bottom. And you want this. So I'm going to get rid of the comment there. You want this line right here. So basically what you're saying is add in to your path this directory. Now, everything will be the same for you except your username here. Whatever you use to log in, mine is Leo, yours is whatever it says here. If you take a look, I'm going to say no to changes. If you look right here, that's what goes in your home folder. As long as you haven't made any changes on your system, if this is what you started your system with, that's what goes into your path. Or you can just run the command pwd while you're in your home folder to figure it out. You can see home leo. Now, back into that file. All the way down. 
So what you want is export path equals quotes home your username slash dot local slash bin colon dollar sign and in curly brackets path. Then finish out your double quotes there. So you want to be careful with this. Uh, if you don't put it in right, obviously bpytop will not launch. But get that in there, double check it, and then save. You can do that with control X here to exit and it will ask, uh, do you want to save that? Hit yes. And it will ask you, is .bashrc the file you want to write it to? Also yes, hit enter. And then you want to run the command source.bashrc. Now, the source command is basically telling the terminal, rerun that bash rc file again so you get any things that I've changed in it. So once you hit enter, that new directory should now be in your path, and you can check it again with echo path. Verify that it's in there. If it's not in there, there's probably a typo somewhere. If you can't find it, throw me a comment down there, and I'll see if I can't help you. But from here, you should just be able to type in bpytop and hit enter. And there it goes. So it doesn't look a whole lot different than Bashtop, but again, it's got a few other interesting features like the mini mode here. So if you just type in, yeah, you can actually click as well. Click mini mode on, click mini mode off. It's just in case you want this information over here to the left or not. And then of course, themes are the same way as everything else, but they're already pre-installed, so you can scroll through them. And you'll notice that bpytop is a lot more responsive than bashtop ever was. So anyway, if that's the way that you wanted to install it, enjoy. Otherwise, I'm going to uninstall all of this stuff just in case you install this and you decide later on that you don't want to have it installed this way. Uh, this is how you'll get rid of it. So pip3 uninstall bpytop. It's going to remove all of that stuff. Hit yes. pip3 uninstall... Oops. PSUtil. And if you don't think you'll ever use pip3 again, you can get rid of pip this way. sudo apt purge python3 dash pip. It's going to get rid of all of that. And for extra cleanup, it's always a good idea to sudo apt auto remove. And that should clean you up. Before we move on, I'm going to log out and log back in to clear out any of the old bpytop stuff, and we'll install it via snap. So back on bpytop's GitHub, you can see we can get the snap, and it's officially supported. So you can see down here, all you'll need to do, sudo snap install bpytop. And again, you can just copy and paste these as they come up. Really not a whole lot to it. As far as running commands and paying attention goes, this is probably the easiest way to get it all installed. Then we'll need to connect all of the little bits so that snap is no longer sandboxed on these things. Hardware observe. System observe. Process control so we can kill things if we need to, and physical memory observe. And then from here, bpytop. Hit enter. And there it is. So, same as before. Really not a whole lot of changes here. Everything will work the way that you expect. And theme should be built in, ready to go. All right, so from here, if you decide that you no longer want this snap package, it's just as simple as sudo snap remove bpytop. That will unplug all of the connections we made before and get rid of bpytop. That's it. Simple as that. If you're adventurous, we'll compile it ourselves in the next step. So let me log out and log back in. We can do it. All right. Well, just in case you're adventurous enough, compiling bpytop yourself. As I mentioned before, in the pip installation method, it's probably best to stick with that method, but since it's here, I figured we might as well go through it anyway. So, same as before, we're going to need a few different things, and that's going to include git. 
So before we get any further, we'll need to install these things. sudo apt install git so we can pull things down from GitHub. I think I already have it on the system, but just, just in case you don't, you'll need to run your command like this, as well as python3 dash pip. So if we grab both of those things, it should be smooth sailing from here. And as you notice, I've already got git here from the previous bash top video. Hit enter to finish out installing Python 3, Python 3's pip, and a few other dependencies as well. And then from here, we'll install a couple of different things. So we'll need to, as it mentions here under dependencies in Linux, before we could get away with LM sensors and sysstat, However, now we're exclusively using psutils. So just like in the first steps in the pip3 installation method, we'll need to install psutils. So we do that with pip3 install psutil. All right. And then from here, we'll need to clone the repository and install it. Now, as I mentioned before in the bash top video, I normally do all of my compilation in the temporary directory. So we'll go there, cd tmp, and then we'll run the clone command. And just that so I don't typo it. Then it cloned into bpytop, so that's the directory we need to go into, so cd bpytop, sudo make install. So again, pretty quick, just like bash top, and then we can run it, b pi top. And there it is, running just as it would if you installed it via pip3 or in snap. Either way, customize it to your liking, and that's about it. Those are the three major ways to install b pi top. If this video helped you, like and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions on videos that I should be doing, let me know in the comments. You can also throw your questions down there as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.